uh, by the two senators, and I won't repeat it. I ask unanimous consent to submit it for the record. Uh, Mr. Chairman, they both brought out the information. Uh, five years uh, we've been waiting for a permit. We did get a permit from EPA, then the Appeals Board turned it down. Uh, in the uh, continuing resolution we passed earlier on this year, we uh, took away the authority of the Appeals Board to do so. And I think that's important because we have gone through this, and really it's all about a ship. Um, and this ship has put millions of dollars in make sure that they have clean air. But and the EPA finally declared that they did have clean air, and yet the appeals board on an interest group turned down the permit another five years. But I want to go back to the concept of this nation and where we are today. I think you may have read the paper today on the cost of fuel, and it will affect the economy. And by the way, the, the fuel in Chicago is about four thirty six a gallon now. It will be $5 by the 1st of July. Now, that does stifle this economy. And some people say we have to get off the fossil fuel economy. But in the meantime, I saw my president go down to Brazil and say, we're going to be your partners. We're going to buy your oil. Now, that doesn't make sense to me. It never has made sense to me when we spend billions of dollars to send money overseas, taking jobs away from Americans, and making us more dependent upon foreign countries to run our economy. You can't do that. We have a big budget battle going on right now. That budget battle has really been caused by the lack of being able to develop our fossil fuels. And by the way, don't buy this concept there's any shortage of fossil fuels. If you read the, the science, we have as much fossil fuels as most of the foreign countries do. And especially in Alaska, we figure there's 27 billion barrels of oil in Chuck Sea alone, probably 10 billion in the Beaufort Sea. That's a tremendous amount of oil. Now, I'm not talking about Florida. I'm not talking about California or West Virginia or any other state. I'm talking about Alaska alone, where the pipeline right now is one-third. Very nearly got shut down this last winter. It got shut down because we had a small spill that was controlled by the way the line was developed. And we were able to take and restart it. And by the way, you talk about the EPA. That is an agency that has run amok. They arrived there in Alaska and tried to tell the state that they were going to take control, they observe responsibility, and we could not start the pipeline without their okay. If it had been stuck down two more days, it would have froze that pipeline, the oil would not flow. And that's 12 percent of our economy today, our oil production today in the United States. It was at one time 25 percent. So I'm suggesting your legislation is long overdue. And don't, you know, the EPA is, is an agency right now that thinks that they can thumb their nose at you. I didn't thumb my nose at you, no, they don't care. They can thumb your nose at you and not answer questions. They should be here. Now, I, I, I can't quite understand that. Like you say, 17,000 employees? And they could I, send the janitor down. I think it would be a good idea. Because what they say, don't you even touch us. We are now the authority. We are now the government of the United States, and don't you even question us. This so-called oil field is 70 miles offshore. And we're really talking about a rig, a drill ship, one ship, which they put all the efforts into it to make sure they've got clean air. And to have an agency they say, no, national security doesn't count. We're worried about the, the, the inhabitants. And by the way, the inhabitants, you're going to hear testimony later from one of them. But I've communicated, and I represent that whole state. There's two senators, one congressman. And you'll find out they work very hard. Shells work very hard with Point Barrel and the other communities in those areas, and uh, in fact, they have an agreement working together with the local communities. Now, you, of course, you're going to have dissent. We know that. Dissent usually fueled by outside interests, and we know that, too. We fought this battle. And by the way, I'm the only person in this room that had the pipeline built in 1973. We passed that legislation out of Congress. Whatever we have to do in this Congress, if we want energy independence, we have to have that one provision I put in that bill, and that is a provision there, shall be no lawsuits by interest groups to stop a project in the name of national security. And we did that. We built that pipeline in three years. It is one of the greatest wonders of human construction that's ever been seen and has worked beautifully through earthquakes and other activities. It can be done, but we have to get oil back in that pipeline. And the one way we can do it is through your legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Young. And